Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript top 40 one-liners that every developer must know and must also start using them in your projects on a daily basis. In today's episode, I'm going to show you the simplest way to swap two variables. That is, if you have two variables, you need to switch the values. And how do you do that in just one line? Let's go ahead and learn that. If you have missed out on the first 14 parts, make sure that you go through them in order to learn such cool JavaScript hacks that will make you a better developer. This is part 15. So let's go ahead and create that file for you. I will put all of this in the GitHub so you can access all of it and learn whenever your time permits. All right, so quickly I'm creating a simple HTML page empty page and I'm throwing in the script tag. Now the ask is that let's say we have two variables a equal to 10 b equal to 20. Now I have two variables all I need to do to swap the values is just comma b equal to bracket b comma a. That's it and that's how you can swap the values using the square brackets. To test it let's console log the values now. This should be the most simplest one of all the things, but trust me, this is one of the classic uh, use cases you will need uh, mostly when you're working. So inspect the element and console and you see it, sh it says 20 and 10, whereas what we are doing is first is A and next is B. But now we swapped the values since they are let, that means I'm able to override and if it's a const, it will give error, all right? So next time when you want to swap any values, just go ahead and use the square brackets. This one line would do the trick to swap the values, right? I hope you like this quick tips that I'm providing. These are very extremely useful code snippets that you can use on a daily basis. Again, these are only useful if you start using them in your day-to-day -day projects to learn and master. Thank you so much for joining in this series. We'll continue this series of bringing you quick code snippets which will help you become better developer. Join me in the next part, part 16. We'll continue this series. Till then, show me some love by hitting that like button, maybe adding a nice comment to me to encourage. Thank you. See you in the next episode.